will be the delete entry method. So we're going to say public, and again I'm going to say going to use long delete entry. Remember you can name the method whatever you like, remove entry or whatever. And then I'm going to say I'm going to pass in the row ID to delete. Okay, and then this one is very easy. We're just going to say return our database dot delete and then in brackets you can see there we need to have a table name a where clause and then some where arguments okay so we're going to say delete first one the database table name the second one the where clause so we're going to say where the key row id is equal to and then I'm going to add a question mark there. And then for the third argument is the value that I want to add. So I'm going to say new string array. And then I'm going to in include the row ID that was passed in there. And then just close it off. So basically what's going to happen here is we're going to pass in this row ID. That row ID will be the value that's passed into the string array. And then we're going to, sit, going to delete in this database table where the row ID is equal to and the question mark will be replaced by the value inside of the string array. So we're basically deleting in the database table where the row ID is the specific ID. And then it will delete it. Okay, so that's the delete method. The next method that we're going to do is the public long and remember, this one will also then return the number of elements that you deleted. In this case, uh, we're only deleting one. So it will return a one after the deleting. But if you want to delete more than one inside of that string array, you are more than welcome to do so. And that's why we have the long there. So we're going to say update entry for the next method. And for this one, we're going to pass in the string the row ID for that specific one. Uh, we want to, to see which ID we need to change. And then we're going to pass in the name and we're going to also pass in the cell phone number of the guy that we want to update. And now this one, again, we need to go and create some uh, content values. So we're going to say content values CV equals new content values like we did when we created one there at the top in the create entry exactly the same thing so we create uh, or basically place the changed values now so we're going to say cv dot put again and then in the name column we're going to place the name that the guy entered there and then in the there's the other one key cell in the cell column we're going to place this uh, changed cell phone value that the guy entered so again we're just setting up the content value cv.put will put the in the column name this name that was passed through and in the cell phone column it will put the cell phone number that was passed through and now we're just going to say return our database dot update and then again, we're going to in, uh, indicate the database table name, the values that we want to update, which will be these column names. If you only want to update one column, you will just add one put method there. Okay, so the, the column name and then the, or sorry, the content values. And then the third argument will be your where clause again. So we're going to say where the key row ID again is equal to a question mark the same as we did above there and then the second argument will be again a new string array and we're going to initialize that with the row id that was passed through okay so basically the same thing again we're updating the database table this specific database table we are changing these columns these values in these columns where the row id is the row id that you indicated which will be the one that was passed through there. So then we are updating a new entry. So this is basically our contacts db.java class. And this is the one that we use in order to do our database.
So I hope you're okay with this class. The next part we will do is to go back to all of our activities and see how this works. Okay, so let's go back to our... I'm just, I'm just going to close some of these. Um, I'm going to close those. Let's go to the main activity. So in the main activity, in the BTN submit, so if the guy is entered now, let, let me just open up that main again. The guy will come and he will enter his, his name or you as the user will enter a name and a cell phone number and then click on submit. So what do we want to do in submit? The first thing we want to do is to get those two values. So we're going to say string name equals etname dot get text dot to string. And then if you want, you can also add the trim method there to make sure that the user did not add any white space. So just removing the white space. So we're going to say also string uh, cell phone number equals etcell dot get text dot to string and also calling the trim method to just make sure that he did not add a space there or something like that. And then when we want to try to read from the database, we need to have this uh, try catch statement because it could throw an SQL exception. Okay, so we're going to go to catch and in brackets SQL exception and whatever you want to call that exception object. Now it will give us an error because we did not actually type any code there that could throw the exception. So now in order to use this contacts DB class of ours, we're going to say contacts DB, whatever you want to call it, equals new contacts DB. And remember that it accepts a context in the brackets. So we're just going to pass in this. Okay, and then we're going to say this database, we're going to call the open method, which will open up the database. And then we must remember to also go and say db.close to close the database at the end. And now we can go and create a new entry. So we can go and say db. We have a method called create entry, and we're just passing in the name and the cell phone number as according to that, that method. So remember our create entry method. There it is. It accepts a name and a cell phone number and it inserts it to the database. So that's basically what we did there. Just passing in the name and the cell phone number and it will add it to the database. And then we can just display a toast to tell the user that we have actually got uh, or su it successfully saved or whatever you want. So I'm going to say successfully saved. And then after that, we could also just set that etname.setText. And just clear it again. And the same for etcell. Dot set text. And setting it to nothing just to clear it. Okay, and then when we catch the exception, we can just do a simple toast again. And then maybe just show that message. So I'm going to say instead of hard coding text there, I'm just going to say e dot get message. So whatever the exception message will then be displayed to the screen. So that's how you then add something to the database, something new to the database. Because we already created this create entry method, it's easy to just pass it along. So basically, we create a new instance of the class. We call the open method to open up the database. Then you can use any of your methods to change, create, or delete. And then you need to close. Okay. So the next method... Uh, the BTN show will just go to when the guy clicks on the show data uh, button. It's just going to go to the data activity, which we're going to do now. And then edit data and delete data, we're going to quickly have a look at also. So let's go back to the main activity and then BTN edit data. So let's see how we can go and edit some data. So again, we're going to use a try and a catch block. And again, it's going to be an SQL exception that will be caught there. And we can just show the toast quickly there again. Uh, let me just go to that one. And again, just say e.get message. Okay. And then here again, we can just go and open up that or create a new instance of the context DB. 
and passing in the context, just this, the class. Again, we can go and open up the database. And then just remember to also add dot close. And then we can go and up update an entry. So we can go and say db dot update an entry. And remember, the first argument is the row ID. So I'm just going to put a simple example here. Let's say we want to add, we want to change the very first uh, row or the first value, and we want to change it to. So let's say currently in the database we've got Jack Porter, and we want to change that to something else. So I'm, I'm going to change it to my own name, and then the third argument is the cell phone number. So let's just say two seven eight four. Five six seven three four five five something like that. So I'm changing the values of the first entry, and that's how it will work. And then we can also just display a toast there. And that toast will also just say something like successfully updated. Okay. So that's the method that we're going to use. Update entry, opening up the database, updating the entry, and then closing the database. And then the last method that we're going to do there is btn delete data. So we're going to say also try and catch there in order to get this one to work. So it's going to be try catch again an SQL exception. E. I'm just going to copy that one there. And let's just paste it there. And then let's see how this one works. Also, you need to create a new instance of our database. So it's going to be new context DP, DB just passing this. And then we need to open up the database again. Close the database again somewhere. And then in between we can delete data. So we can say db.delete an entry. And we only need to indicate the row ID. So I can go and say, I want to delete that entry number one, and it will delete entry number one from the database. So that's basically it. Let's just add a toast there. And again, we're just going to say successfully deleted this time. Okay, successfully deleted or something like that. So this is just a simple example on how to use your, your database class. And then the last thing that we can go and do is to go back to our data class and see how we how can we retrieve the data from the database. Remember, there's one last method, get data, that we didn't uh, use yet, which will return the result of all the data in the database. So let's go and have a look at how we can do that. Okay, so for this one, Again, we need to have the try and the catch block there when we're trying to open up the database. So it's going to be a try and the catch. And again, it will be an SQL exception. And then we're going to say the toast again. And we're just going to say e.get message. Okay, so here again, we're just going to call or just going to open up the database. So we're going to say uh, context db db equals new context db, passing in the context. And then we open up the database. So we open it up and remember to close it. And then in between, we can get the data. So basically, what we want to do is to set the data from the database directly to that text view. And the text view is called TV data. So I'm going to say TV data dot set text. And then we're going to set the text as DB dot and calling that method get data. Now remember get data will return a string with, which will be that result from the for loop. Okay. So then the data is set and everything is done. So that's basically it for this project. I hope you understand basically the import the important file is this one, uh, the contacts DB file where you create delete entries, updating entries, and so forth. And that's the one that you need to understand. So please go through this one again. We will run the application now to see if everything works as planned. Okay, guys, let's just have a quick look at this application. If you run the application, we can enter a name. 
So I'm just going to just enter Chuck Norris there. And then we can also enter a telephone number. And then when we click on submit, it says successfully saved. And then when we click on show data, you can see that that is actually in the database. We go back and we can enter another name. Let's say Peter Pan. And we're going to enter his cell phone number and then say submit. And show data, you can see the second entry is also then added. And now we can also go and say edit data, which will actually put the first entry, will change the whole first entry to Johan Urius. We can also go back and click on delete data, which will delete the first entry. So if we go and click to show data, the first entry is deleted. Okay, so both of the delete uh, and the edit methods actually works. If we go to our app settings, so if you go to settings of your phone and go to apps, and you scroll down to that uh, SQL application that we just did, and you click on that application, you can see there's storage, and then you can see the amount of space that it takes up. If you click on clear the data, it removes the database for your specific app. So if I go back to my app and I click on show data, I will see nothing. Okay, so we can enter something again. Let's say you're on with the telephone number and say submit. And if we go click on show data, you can see data exists in the database again. So go back to settings and you can see that we've got 80 kilobytes of data that's been used again.